हेलो एवरी वन अवर टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेशन वुड बी हाउ टू ड्रॉ फेज वोल्टेज एंड लाइन वोल्टेज वेव फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू ड्रॉ टू हॉरिजोंटल एंड टू वर्टिकल लाइन्स परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर एज शोन आफ्टर फॉलोइंग द फर्स्ट स्टेप यू नीड टू ड्रॉ फोर वेरी लाइट लाइन्स दीज फोर आर दैट लाइन्स two lines are above the reference line this is the reference line and two lines are below the reference line after you have drawn this four lines you need to draw more four lines these are that four lines point to note is these all these five lines are equidistant lines you have to draw four more lines but on the second graph now and please note that these lines are not equidistant lines uh for the sake of understanding we have named the lines first second third fourth fifth similarly first second third fourth fifth the waveforms which we would be drawing here would be for phase voltages whereas the waveforms on this graph would be for line voltages if this whole distance is divided into four parts consider having one part between these two lines and three parts between these two lines similarly three parts between these two lines and one part between these two lines now take one point at a distance of 3 to 4 mm from positive y axis on line second as shown after that take another point from this point with double the distance between these two with double the distance suppose this no distance is 5 mm then this distance would be 10 mm all these points are equidistant points now take a point in between these two points but the point should be on line number 1 as shown similarly we will be placing the points between all these points but all the points should be placed on line number 1 such that a triangle would be formed an imaginary triangle would be formed now drop the projection down from these points the projection should be very light as light as possible as imaginary triangle was formed between line first and second we have to place these three points now in between line fourth and fifth as shown continue the same for every point it can be clearly seen that point on fifth follows points on second point on fourth follows points on one first line it can be clearly seen that point on fifth line follows point on second line whereas point on fourth line follows point on first line and so on now starting from the origin we need to draw a line which would first touch this point then this then this after completing this step you need to draw a line which would connect these two points and just follow the flow from this to this from this to this from this to this so on from this point to this from this to this and this to this the most important step is to connect these two points where most of us get confused is this point for the sake of simplicity and understanding we we have named the points a b c d e f g h i j now next step is to start from point b first step included a second step would include b we have to start a line from point b to c then from c to this point and then to e from e to f and from f to this point and from this point to h from h to i now after completing this you need to join these two points these and this point to the origin of fourth line so you can observe that the waveform is taking its shape next waveform next line we have to start from point d a is done b is done c is done we have to now start from d we have to connect from d point to e point from e to this point this point to g point 
now you have to carefully connect the point D to this point and this point to B point and from B point to A point like this and from this point to the origin of first line similarly from G to H H to this point this point to J point and you are done with the waveforms starting from the first waveform starting from the origin this is your VRN second top would be VYN third would be VBN as N is common we are not mentioning it VR, VY, VB these are the phase voltage waveforms now we will learn how to draw line voltage waveforms from phase voltage waveform you cannot draw line voltage directly first you need to draw phase voltage waveform then from the phase voltage waveform line voltage waveforms are drawn we have already projected down the points these a b c d points are called as phase crossover points for your knowledge these points are called as phase crossover points okay consider this point as first this intersection as second third and fourth like this then we have to plot one point in between first and fourth point but that point should be plot on line number first this is the first point this is the fourth point and in between these two points are in between and we have to plot the point in between these two points on line number first like this now we have to form an imaginary triangle over here this is the apex of triangle and this and this this is the triangle form this is the triangle form similarly we have to form the triangle for the next part like this now please see carefully now we have to join this point with this then this then this and returning to the fourth point starting from the first point covering all this point and returning to the fourth point like this now starting from the second point from this point to this point this to this covering all these three and returning to the next point from this point to next point again starting from the next point covering these three points and returning to the next point once you have completed doing so then you have to join these point to this to center and again backward to make the diagram complete the upper half is finished we have to complete the lower half same procedure for the lower half first point second third fourth between first and fourth we have to plot a point on this line that is fifth line and the same process starting from first point to this point this point to main point first point to this point this point to this point this to this and again back to fourth this is the imaginary triangle form after this we need to follow the same steps that we followed in the upper half from this point to this this to this this to this and back to fourth point this would be first first to this and back to the fourth for next this would be first and this would be fourth now your waveform would look like this most of us will face problems in this portion this waveform is looking proportionate whereas this waveform is not looking proportionate reason is we have not followed the steps properly now once this is suppose this is the fourth point there would be point behind this point therefore this would be the termination point then this should go like this and from this point to this similarly this would be the fourth point and this line should go up till this point once you are done with this then comes the naming this is your complete waveform this is incomplete because the starting point the initiation point is not over here this is your complete waveform so we start from the waveform which is complete so this waveform is complete waveform therefore we have to name this waveform suppose this is r this is y and this is b we know this is line voltage waveform and in line voltage waveform neutral is absent 
so if neutral is absent then the voltage always taken between two points therefore first waveform would be for ry second would be for rb and follow the order after ry rb yr yb br by this would be the names okay most of us will get confused what will be the name of this waveform for this you have to follow this waveform is going down and again coming up and this waveform name is by therefore this waveform would be vby in this way you are done with the waveforms these are the waveforms for phase voltages and these are the waveforms for line voltages now you can continue this waveform would be again starting from first this waveform would be v r y v r y for cross checking this comes up to this v r y exactly so v r y this would be v r b this would be v y r this is the actual process to draw the waveforms for phase voltages and line voltages uh, i have seen that method of tra drawing triangles 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 but that is not accurate one you can check the accuracy consider this consider this v y n half cycle of v y n we can cross check it consider the half wave for this phase starting from this point and coming all to this point this is the half cycle for this phase the half cycle is of 180 degrees and we can see that starting from this point this is the first part this is the second part and this would be the third part that means 180 divided by 3 would be 60 degree this part would be of 60 this part would be of 60 and this part would be of 60 degree okay it means this all six parts this each part is divided into two this all six parts are equal this whole part is of 60 that means it is 30 30 30 30 30 30 6 times 30 that would be 180 then coming down that means from the diagram this is of 30 and this is of 30 that this complete section is of 60 now coming down to the diagram one waveform is starting from this point and second is starting from this point this waveform next is starting from this point similarly in this in this case first waveform is starting from this point this is of 60 this is of 60 and this is of 60 we consider this half cycle therefore 60 and 60 120 means first waveform is starting from this point and second waveform is starting from this point that means it is 120 degree apart that means 120 degree facial whereas we know that one part is of 60 degree therefore first waveform is starting from this point second waveform is starting from this point therefore 60 degrees apart and we know that line voltages are of six types therefore 360 divided by total number of voltages 6 is equals to 60 therefore phase shift in line voltages is 60 degree whereas phase shift in phase voltages is 120 degree it needs practice practice and you are the master of it hope so you understood thank you